Who wears what on their feet in the F1 paddock? If you've been pondering that question, the good news is for you, I have the answers in just a moment. At the last two races and during testing, I've been keeping an eye on what the drivers wear into the track on their feet. What I've discovered is one company pretty much dominates the F1 field. And of course there's a variety of shoes being worn. Some inexpensive, as low as 55 euros. Some, well over a thousand. So which company is it that dominates F1 in the sneaker field? It's Puma, the German company. And you'll find a number of drivers wearing their kit. And they sponsor teams as well. Let's start off with the current world champion, Lewis Hamilton. Here he is coming in in a pair of Puma Sky LX, Mr. Doodle, Puma White, Posy Green Blacks. Impressive shoes, not designer priced, pretty good value actually. And this pair is a collaboration with Sam Cox, who's a London graffiti artist. His teammate Valtteri Bottas has gone for something more subdued, a simple pair of white Pumas. Let's jump over to the McLaren crew of Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo. McLaren actually has a deal with Puma where they've come up with uh, an Ignite shoe that looks impressive. It has the McLaren papaya colour. It was introduced last year and I've seen a number of the team personnel wearing them. If you go back a year prior, the team, including the drivers, wore on running and I'll get to them a little later on in this video. On the Thursday at Imola, Daniel Ricciardo came in wearing these rude b-ball high top sneakers. Now McLaren and Rude are doing a collaboration clothing wise but it's not actually the first time that teams have done collaborations. If you go back to the 90s I'm pretty sure it was uh, these Williams shoes were impressive and McLaren's also done collaborations decades ago. Lando Norris on the other hand came in on his casual day Thursday in a simple pair of Air Force One Nikes. That's 20% of the drivers covered. So let's jump over to Red Bull and they're sponsored by Puma. The Puma logo is prominent on the driver's kit. Last race I caught Max Verstappen coming in in a pair of black Pumas and his teammate Sergio Perez wearing the team issued blue and red design. And I guess I should say that this is not what they wear to every race I'm certain. They would have a number of different shoes but this is what I've seen thus far at the two races and the Bahrain testing. Alpha Tauri, well they don't have a shoe sponsor. Yuki Tsunoda rolled up in some bright blue coloured Pumas on one day and these black ones on another day. But perhaps Pierre Gasly is the more interesting. He openly admits he loves sneakers. He was wearing a pair of Louis Vuitton Aview sneakers which sell for around 1200 euros. In actual fact he leads the field when it comes to designer sneakers. Pierre's quite a fan of Louis Vuitton not only in the shoe department but in the backpacks and you might have seen my video I did about backpacks going back I think two weeks ago. Well uh, if you haven't go and have a look the description has the link below. When it comes to renting a car this is a tip that will save you a lot of money over time. If you rent from an airport office have a look at your contract and you'll almost certainly find that there is a fee or a tax because you've picked up at an airport. Now that fee or tax doesn't apply if you pick up from a city centre. Now it doesn't happen at every airport but you would be smart when you're looking at booking a car to just check up and see if there is a premium to pick it up from the airport. And if there isn't and you can afford the time to leave the airport perhaps in a taxi and go to the city office to collect your car on a long rental that will save you a lot of money. You're welcome. What about the drivers from the French team Alpine? What are they wearing to the track? Esteban Ocon is wearing, and this is quite a long name, these are Baskets Omega Y BBR Optical White Cobalt 2110139 shoes. They're from Lecoq Sportif, a French company that uh, is the official partner when it comes to the clothing range. And you'll see the Lecoq logo on both the team shirts and also on the jackets that the drivers wear, but not on the race suits, and I couldn't find it anywhere on the car. Esteban's teammate is Fernando Alonso, and I've not yet seen him wear those particular Lecoq shoes, but I did see him come in in a pair of Adidas NMDs the other day, and after some searching on the net, I gave up. I could not find the model anywhere available for sale. Perhaps you can solve the mystery. What are the drivers at Alfa Romeo wearing? Well, both of them wear ASICs. Now ASICS is not a sponsor of the team but I believe that uh, the team buys ASICS shoes and Kimi and Mark, his trainer, both wear the red and blue design here. But I caught Antonio Giovinazzi coming in in these white gels of some sort and 
a good deal of research yielded no name for these shoes, but they look snazzy. Over at Aston Martin, the team wear Jimmy Choo's. Yes, the designer who's famous for his women's shoes is now making shoes for the team. And yet the drivers wear a blend. I caught Lance Stroll coming in one day in New Balance, but on another day he was wearing a pair of on-running 19005 white shoes. Seb was also wearing a pair of on-running in a colour scheme that I couldn't find online. And now, I've got to tell you, I'm a fan of on-running and I wear them myself. Uh, I wear these because they're waterproof. But a number of photographers wear them as well because they're immensely comfortable and if you can get them in waterproof, well, when they say waterproof, more water resistant, but they're coming apart at the back here, Mr. On Running. I just need a new pair. Charles Leclerc, I've caught him wearing a couple of different shoes. What about these people shouting down here? One of the days he came in in these Ralph Sampson low vintage trainers and on another day these shoes, now I've spent a bit of time and I'm going to suggest that these are Armani but I can't say with any confidence, I think this little bit gives it away perhaps as the Armani logo and I've only ever seen Carlos Sainz wearing these Pumas. Let's jump across to Williams now, they have a clothing sponsor in Umbro and I have seen George wear Umbro shoes on the... Thursday of the Imola race he was out cycling the track in a pair of Umbros but I've also seen him in Duke and Dexter's in these off-whites which are pretty cool looking shoes and his teammate Nicholas Latifi photographed him in some Balmains and I quite like the logo around the back of the heel here and on the sole but I've also seen him in Adidas and that just leaves Haas the final team I believe Mick Schumacher was instrumental in bringing the clothing brand Under Armour over to Haas as a sponsor and as a result both Mick and Nikita are seen here wearing that brand's shoes. This video was pretty tricky to research I gotta tell you. It took a long time to find out much of that information and I trust that you've learnt a little bit from it. Remember that you can get my F1 driver books at kimelman.com. You'll find all of my digital images at prostarpix.com. If you've liked the video hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so, get notifications by clicking on the bell and for my best images live from the track head to Instagram at Kim Illman and if you're interested in the equipment I use to make these videos hang around till after the outro. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. And just briefly, if you're wondering about the technical side of how I film these videos, I can tell you I have uh, an EOS R camera, which is great. I have a Rode NTG microphone. I'm using a 16 to 35 mm lens. I've got a small man Frodo light, which I'm hand holding. I've got the camera on a monopod. Then I wrap a gorilla pod around the monopod and attach it to something. In this case, it's on a handrail, but it could well be on a tree or a pole but allows me to get the camera head height, which for me is just more comfortable. Of course, a vital part of this setup is the flip out screen. I couldn't do a video without the flip out screen because occasionally I've got to look over here at the screen and make sure that I'm still in focus, that the audio levels are fine and the thing hasn't run out of battery. This is the gorilla pod I was just mentioning and when I'm not using it to shore up this monopod and strapping it onto something, you can actually put the camera onto this thing and either hold it out in front of you and walk along 15 20 inches from your face or I can put it on the ground I can strap it to a tree if I wish it's a very handy piece of kit and there's the bell the church bells going and just down below me here there is a restaurant and I can smell their food all the time I haven't eaten it but it smells good